Who can say trip trap? Trip trap. Say it. Trip trap. Trip trap. Good. Well, the smallest billy goat's really quiet. His little feet on this bridge go trip trap trip. Let's hear it. Trip trap trip. The second billy goat is a little bit bigger and his feet go trip trap. Help me. Trip trap. And the largest billy goat, whoa, let's hear it. Trip, trap, trip, trap. You got it. Okay, here's the story. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats gruff. The small one, the medium size, and the large one. They lived on one side of the bridge, and they had eaten everything up. They'd eaten the leaves off the trees and the grass, and they looked across the bridge, and they said, Everything's green. Let's go. Let's go across the bridge. The smallest one said, oh, let me go first. So he, she, she did. And she got up on the bridge, and her little hooves went what? Trip, trap, trip, trap. Little did she know that under the bridge was a troll. Ooh, who's tripping over my bridge, said the troll. It's me, 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 the little spilly goat gruff. I'm going to come up and eat you up. Oh, please don't eat me up. Wait, wait, wait for my bigger brother. He's plumper than me and wait. Oh, you have a bigger brother. All right, be off with you, but don't you ever come across this bridge again. No, 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 no. And let's make the noise of the little billy goat. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. Good for you. Who was next but the medium-sized billy goat gruff? And his hooves went on the bridge and went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip. Who's that stripping on my bridge? It's m -m -m me, the m -m -m medium-sized b -b -b billy goat gruff. I'm going to come up and fricassee you for my lunch. Oh, no, 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 don't eat with me. I have a bigger brother, bigger. Oh, a bigger brother. Mm. All right, I'll wait for him. Get off my bridge. And this who's went trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. All right, who should come next? The big one, the biggest billy goat gruff. And he gets on the bridge and his hooves went, let's hear it. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip. Who's that tripping on my bridge? It's me. <laughs> the biggest billy goat gruff. I'm going to come up and saute you for my dinner. Ho, oh, ho, come on in. And the, the biggest billy goat biffed him and banned him and biffed him and he flew up into the sky and he never was seen again. And so the biggest billy goat joined his brother and his little sister and I think they're still eating grass on the other side of the bridge. But hey, the troll, we don't know. Where is he? Well, <laughs> he's right here. He's going to go back in the box. I have a fable. It's like a story. And is a lion big or is a lion little? Big. Big, you're right. This is this a big lion? Can you all see it? Can you see it? Once upon a time, there was a very large lion who lived in the forest. And he was sunning himself with his head on his paws when a tiny little mouse runs by. And the lion takes his paws and says, ha, ha, ha. I've got you. Oh, oh, said the little mouse, please don't eat me up. I, maybe someday I can help you. Well, the lion roared and laughed and said, help me. Thought it was so funny. Then he said, oh, be off with you, be off with you. And the mice, mouse scurried away. Well, there were some hunters in the jungle and they came along and they saw this beautiful big lion and they threw a net over him and he 
tried to get away from the net and he couldn't, oh, he couldn't, and he got, it got tighter and tighter on him. And the men said, well, let's go get a cart and get him and we'll take him back to the town. Well, so they left. Who should come by but the little mouse and said, lion, I am going to chew the, the wrap that's around you, the cord. So the mouse chewed and chewed and chewed and chewed, and the lion was free. So this tells you that little friends can become great friends. Because did the mouse save the lion's life? Yeah. Yes. And that's the story, a fable of the lion and the mouse. Does anybody know what that is? Crocodile. It can be a crocodile, but if the nose were not cut off, it's a long one. It's an alligator. Let's hear it. Alligator. Okay. This is the story of snip, snap of that alligator. Can you all see the folk pictures? When an alligator came creeping, creeping, creeping up the stairs, were the children scared? You bet they were. I would be scared if an alligator came up my stairs, would you? Yeah. Well, Marissa, she tried to close the door. Eva tried some more and more, and Jonathan didn't try at all. He just cried and cried and cried, and then he hid. The alligator's mouth. His, his eyes were wide, his teeth were long, his jaws were strong. The children watched it begin to bite at the door. Snip, snap, snip, snap, snip, snap. Were the children scared? Yes, you bet they were. The alligator slithered and slithered and slithered down the hall. It went swoosh, swoosh the tail, which was shiny and spiked and full of scales. Were the children scared? You bet they were. Mmm, the tongue was flicking. The alligator's feet were kicking. Ooh, the elevator's mouth, alligator's mouth opened up wide to invite the children inside. Were the children scared? You bet they were. The alligator's eyes were flashing, the alligator's teeth were gnashing, the tables and chairs and the piano were crashing. <gasps> were the children scared? You bet they were. Let's all say that. You bet they were. And then what did the alligator do? Did it say to the children, I'm going to eat you. It came closer and closer and closer and closer until And the children decided that they'd had enough and that, of all that scary alligator stuff. They plucked up their courage and gave a great shout, Alligator, you get out. And was the alligator scared? You bet he was. Down the steps he went, trump, trump, bump, 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 bump. <coughs> Woo! All the way home. Yay for those kids. They, they got them away, didn't they? Yay, yay. Now, one of my favorite stories, and I use it a lot in story art, and I'm, you, I know you've heard it, but we're going to hear it again because it's just a wonderful story. It's the story of caps for sale. You got caps for sale. Do any, has anybody heard this story? No? Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. Let's do it. I'm going to put this up here like this. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his hat on his back. He carried them on the top of his head. First, he had his own check cap. Then a bunch of gray caps, brown caps, blue caps, and on the very top 
a bunch of red caps. He walked up and down the street, holding himself very straight so as not to upset his caps. And he would walk along calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But one morning, he couldn't sell any caps. He walked up and down the street and called, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. But nobody wanted any caps that morning. Nobody wanted even a red cap. He began to feel hungry, but he had no money for lunch. I think I'll go for a walk in the country, he said. And he walked out of town slowly, slowly, as not to upset his caps. He walked for a long time until he came to a great big tree. Well, this is a nice place to rest, he thought. And he sat down very slowly under the tree, leaned back a little against the tree so as not to disturb the caps. Then he put his hand on his head and see if they were straight. First, his what? what is this? Check. Can you say check cap? Check caps. And then gray caps, brown caps, blue caps. And what caps were color was on the very top? Red, Red caps. You're right. <gasps> They were all there, and he went to sleep, and he slept for a very long time. He woke up. Oh, he felt so refreshed and rested. Oh, he felt so good. But before standing up, he felt on, in his hand to make sure his caps were in the right place. All he felt, which cap does he have on his head? Gray cap. The checked, well, it's kind of checked like this. Well, the peddler, he looked to the right of him. No caps. He looked to the left of him. No caps. He looked in back of him. No caps. Then he looked up in the tree. And what do you think he saw in that tree? But what else besides a cap? On every branch sat a monkey, and every monkey had on his head a gray cap, or a brown cap, or a blue cap. The peddler looked up at the monkey and the monkeys looked down at the peddler. He didn't know what to do. Finally, he spoke to them. You monkeys, you, he said, shaking his finger. You give me back my caps. But the monkey shook their fingers back at him and went, sit, sit, sit. Well, this made the peddler angry, so he shook both hands and said, you, monkeys, you, give me back my caps. But the monkeys only shook both of their hands and went, shh, shh, shh. Well, the, now he was quite angry. He stamped his foot and said, you, monkeys, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys only stamped their feet and went, shh, shh, shh. Well, by this time, the peddler was really very angry, and he stamped both his feet and said, you monkeys, you must give me back my caps. But the monkeys just, you know, sit, sit, sit with both of their feet. Well, this time, the peddler was really, really angry, and he took his checked cap, and he flew it on the ground and started to walk away. What happened? The monkeys copied him, but then, each monkey pulled off his cap. Yay! And all the gray caps, the brown caps, the blue caps, and the red caps came flying down out of the tree. And what did the peddler do? Well, he picked up his, first his check cap, and then he put his gray cap on, the brown caps, and the blue caps, and the red caps on the very top. And if slowly and slowly, he walked back to town calling, caps, caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. Can you say that with me? Caps, 
Caps for sale, 50 cents a cap. And that's the story of caps for sale. <laughs> well, I know Halloween's over, isn't it? Thanksgiving is over, and something's coming in December that a lot of us know about. But, yes, <laughs> but this is one of, this is Wanda, and she, she knows it's not Halloween, but she lives with me all year round and is a friend of mine. And she has a favorite, it's a song, but we might just say it. And you have to copy her, you ready? Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air and leave it right there. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Woo -hoo. Put your finger on your nose, on your nose. Put your finger on your nose. That's where the cold wind blows. Put your finger on the nose, on your nose. Put your finger in your ear, in your ear, yes, sir. Put your finger in your ear, in your ear, yes, yes. Put your finger in your ear and leave it there a year. Put your finger on your ear, on your ear. All right, both your hands. Put your finger on your finger, on your finger, yes, yes. Put your finger on your finger, on your finger. Put your finger on your finger and your finger on your finger. Put your finger on your finger on your finger. Well done. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Put your finger in the air and leave it right there. Put your finger in the air, in the air. Well done. Wanda says, well done. Yay. Well. Wanda, I know it's not, but, but you live with me. And I have, a nut, I have so many puppets, but I have a puppet that I've had probably older than your mother or your dad. I've had this puppet for so many years, and he, his name is Bruce. Bruce, isn't that a funny name for a puppet? Now you can, it's, it's a bird. It's got a long neck, and this, this, particular bird happens to be white, but some of the, the same kind of bird can be black and brown, and it's got a really long neck. What could it be? What kind of bird? That's a good guess, but this one says honk, honk. What do you think that could be? A goose! Bingo! You're right! It's a goose! His name is Bruce, and he came to store. He loves to come to the Iowa City Public. Who likes to come to the Iowa City Public Library? <laughs> me too, me too. All right, Bruce, you can come. Oh, Bruce, it's not even December yet. Guess what he dressed in? What? Christmas outfit. Oh, no, Bruce. Oh. oh, oh, Bruce, you did it. it, it, it we just had Thanksgiving. Oh, look at all these boys and girls. My goodness, just a minute. I know it's not polite to tell secrets, but he's going to tell me something. Well, yeah, oh, okay, okay, all right. He wants to know if any of you know the song, Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Yeah. Okay, well, will you help me sing it? Yeah. And Bruce too? Yay, says Bruce. Up, oh, Bruce, your little, yes, yeah, Santa hat. He's rushing the season, I know. All right, let old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there it was a cow, E-I-E-I-O. With a moo-moo here and a moo-moo there, here a moo, there a moo, everywhere a moo-moo. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. What else goes on? A, what else lives on a farm? A pig. Old MacDonald had a farm. E I E I O. And on that farm he had a pig. E I E I O. With a <laughs> here and an oink oink there. Here an oink, there an oink, everywhere an oink oink. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. What else is on a farm? A what? 
Uh, way back there. What'd you say? A goat. That's perfect. I love goats. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm there had some goats, E-I-E-I-O. What does a goat say? Ba. Ba, ba here and a ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba, ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O, one more animal. A duck, perfect, perfect. Bruce will chase that duck. Ge geese like to chase ducks. Okay, here we go, a duck, last one. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a duck, E-I-E-I-O. With a quack, quack here and quack, quack there. Here a quack, there a quack, everywhere a quack, quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well done, you're off awesome. You're awesome, you're a great audience. All right, I have, oh, there's that alligator again. It could be a crocodile, except this one has a long, long nose. Oh, this is the wrong one. It's right here, right under here. <laughs> It's, have you see, ever seen this book? Good, an alphabet tail. Are you learning the alphabet in school? Yeah. Yes, good. What letter is that? A. Right, you're right. Sharp eyes, sharp teeth, run first, look later. This is a tail of a? Crocodile. Like a crocodile, but it's a? Alligator. Let's all say alligator. <laughs> What letter? B. It's a B. Here we go. In building dams, she's a great believer. This is a tail. See that tail? Of a busy beaver. Everybody say beaver. Beaver. Perfect. That's a C. Softly she walks. Pitter pat. This is a tail of a meowing. It starts with a C. Cat. Well done. D, at parties, you pin it on them. Your blindfold won't let you see. This is the tail of a brain donkey. Let's say it again. Donkey. Right. That's an E. He has two tusks. He has a trump. He's big and he's intelligent. This is a tail of a Elephant. Is an elephant little or is the elephant? You know that. Well, it might be a surprise. That's an F. Say F. F. A prowler's fly chases a fox. This is the tail of the wily fox. There's a fox. That's a G. His neck is long. It makes you laugh. This is a t There it is. Oh, are giraffes small or tall? tall. They're tall. What letter? H. H. He's bulky, a bathing <laughs> herbivore. This, his appetite is bottomless. This is a tale of a hippopotamus. Can we all say that? Hippopotamus. And there is an I. She measures and measures, squirm by squirm. This is a tale of a slick inchworm. They're little, aren't they? They're just little. J. She roams a forest near and far. This is the tail of a jaguar. Okay, what letter is that? K. That's right, it's a K. Watch her hopping around the zoo. This is a tail. Kangaroo, you're right. What's that? L. He slinks through the jungle. Lion. 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 Oh, you just already know that already. Look at this. What is M? What tail do you think that is? It swings from the trees. It's the tail of the mischievous monkey. Your mom? Is that? That's an N, but I bet I've never seen this, this little thing. It's very small. But it starts with N, and it's called a newt. Isn't that fun to say? It's a newt. 
It's kind of like about that long. What's that? With his head in the sand, now which way is which? This is the tail of the leggy ostrich. P, better beware of the prickly spine. This is the tail of a porcupine. porcupine. Q, she nests on the ground, her feathers are pale. This is the tail of a quail. Quail, they're a little bird, and a lot of people hunt them to eat them, but I like to look at them. What's that? R. He looks like the hat of Daniel Boone. This is the tail of a furry raccoon. Raccoon. What's this? An S. His home is the Arctic. Raw fish is his meal. This is the tail of a whiskery seal. Can you say seal? You're right. Do you all, do you see the T? And that, see the tail? Ah, it's a, what is that? Tiger? Tiger. Well, he's found in Maple believe land. On his forehead, he has a long horn. This is a tail of a, what's that? A unicorn. All right, we're almost finished with the alphabet. He swoops on his prey with his wide wings astir. This is this, oh, a greedy vulture. Mm, there aren't many things. All right, W. What do you think that is? Whale. This is the tail of a whale. Okay, it's he's armor plated who lives from us. This is the tail of a xenorus. And why? This is the tail of a yak. And then what starts with Z? It's a zebra. You are ab. There is the zebra. Whoa. All right. We've run out of time, but I have one more animal. Oh, you wouldn't call him a reptile that lives with me. No, it, ri it rhymes with make. Make? Yeah, make. It rhymes with make. Do you, any of you know, have you ever seen what this is? What is it? It's, it's a special kind of a snake. It's a boa constrictor. Ooh, they don't live around here, thank goodness. But I bought a boa constrictor from my home, and he's going to eat me. I'm sorry, he's going to eat me. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Oh, no. He swallowed my toe. Oh, gee, he's up to my knee. Oh, fiddle, he's reached my middle. Oh, heck, he's up to my... Neck. Oh, Dred, he swallowed my... <laughs> Anybody want to be swallowed by... Do I have any volunteers who want to be swallowed? All right. You can... We'll do it another time. Come on, I'll swallow... The boa constrictor will saw you. Ready? Okay, you're not as scared. You're not scared? Okay, here we go. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by a boa constrictor. And I don't like it very much. Oh, no. He swallowed my toe. Oh, gee, he's reached my knee. Oh, fiddle, he's up to my middle. Oh, heck, he's reached my neck. Oh, dread, he swallowed my... <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't. He really didn't. All right. <laughs> you want, okay, one more. Do you want to be swallowed too? You want to come up and be swallowed? No? Do you want to be swallowed? Okay, you can, you can all, okay. Okay. A group swallow. All right. Are you re ready? Okay, face the group. Okay, come on in. I'm, okay, all right. Now turn around so everybody can see. <laughs> I'm being swallowed. Now you've got to be careful. So the okay. 
I'm being swallowed by the boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by the boa constrictor. I'm being swallowed by the boa constrictor, and I don't like it very much. Oh, no. He swallowed my toe. Oh, gee, he's up to my knee. Oh, fiddle, he's reached my middle. Oh, heck, he's up to my neck. Oh, dread, he swallowed my... <laughs> and that is the end of Story Hour. You've been a wonderful audience.